Small fry school. Fingers, flippers, and paws. This month is about things all animals need. Hi, small fry! Even when they don't look like us on the outside, some animals are like us on the inside. And guess what? This is what we look like on the inside. And look, here's the hands. Let's count the fingers. One, two, three, four, five. I am here in the veterinarian clinic, and here is my friend, Dr. Carrie. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you, Alex. Nice to see you, too. Can you explain to our small fry friends what you do here at the Alaska Healing Center? Sure. So I am the head veterinarian or the head animal doctor and I get to take care of the animals here at the Sea Life Center uh, when they don't feel well or when they come in from the wild and have injuries. Do you take care of all of the animals here? I take care of all of the wow. animals, the fish, the invertebrates, and even the big guys, the stellar sea lions. You have a really cool job. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, I hear you have something called a radio group. Yes, so a radiograph is a picture of the inside, and here we can see the bones of an animal. And uh -huh. this is the front paw of a sea otter. Wow. Can we count how many bones they have in their hands? You bet. Okay, want to do it together? Sure. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Let's do it here. One, two, two three, four, five. five. Hey, that's just like us. It is. I also have a picture of the bones of a stellar sea lion. Oh. Well, it does look a little bit different. It does. They don't use their hands to manipulate things. They use them kind of to watch. So they actually look a little bit more like feet, but they still have five fingers. Let's count again. Sounds great. Here we go. One, two, two three, four, four five. So you all have five. Pretty much. Do you have another one to show us? I have a picture of the bones of an older sea lion, and oh. they're a lot larger, but there's still five fingers. There's still five fingers. All these guys have five phalanges. Whoa, phalanges. Big word alerts. So what's a phalange? So the phalange is the general word for this type of, of bone. In people, we call them fingers. But in other animals, they're slightly different words. A little bit different words. So are all these bones the same? While they're similar, they're not identical. And there's some individual things that are different from them. Can we go look at some bones? Sure, let's go look at some bones. So what do we have here? So here we have a skeleton of a sea otter. And you can see how similar their paw is to our hand, but a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller. I'm gonna try putting my hand up there too. Wow, so like, oh, that's crazy. Now, to be even more dramatic, here is a single finger from a stellar sea lion, and you can see that it is actually longer than a sea otter's So that's whole one finger. Arm. This is Just one, one finger. finger. Wow. So even if I put my finger up, like you can see, small this one is and how big this one is. Yes. Wow. And then are these bones heavier as well? Well, they're thicker, so they will be heavier. Now, bird bones are actually full of holes, and so even if they're the same size, they'll be significantly lighter. lighter. So, sea otters have five phalanges, sea lions have five phalanges, and we, big word, have five phalanges. So we're all animals, not all humans look alike, but we're the same where it counts, on the inside. Bye friends! And thank you Dr. Carrie for coming! Oh, it was fun! Thanks for swimming by Small Fry School!